Hey guys, it's Cameron with Banzoogle, and today I'm here to give you some guidelines for choosing the best header and logo images for your site. Let's get started by taking a look at using a logo image for your site. Banzoogle provides several options that let you either add some text or a logo image to the header area of your site with the Edit Theme option in your control panel. To use your own logo image, you can go to the Title and Logo settings here and select Logo to upload your own file. For logo images, you can either use JPEG, PNG, or GIF format images. We recommend PNG image files for the logos as they look great and can include transparency within the image file so your site can be seen behind the logo shape. Logos will be placed in an area of your header that won't likely exceed 1024 pixels in width, so using an image that has this width as well is optimal. Some themes will place your logo image over the top of your header image, like this, while others will place your logo within the menu bar itself, like this. So be sure to test all the themes to find the best look for your logo. Now, let's take a look at the header image. Since headers are responsive, the size of the image will be scaled to fit the size of the screen it's viewed on. So, if you upload an image that's 1,500 pixels wide by 1,200 pixels in height, when viewed on a screen half the size of the picture, the image will appear as if it were 750 pixels wide by 600 pixels high. While your image will always maintain its proportions, the space it's placed in will not. So, if you add an image that's wide but not very tall, this may display with some cropping on the sides when an image is viewed on a narrow but proportionally higher screen, like on a mobile device. Because of how responsive headers behave, there are a few guidelines you can apply to make sure your images look great. Your header image should be at least 1,600 pixels wide and about 1,400 pixels high at a standard web resolution of 72 dpi. Remember, digital images always scale better down than they do up, so using a reasonably large image with an almost equal proportional height will make sure it looks great on almost any screen. You'll also want to avoid using close cropped images. There are hundreds of different screen sizes in different orientations, and some cutoff is usually unavoidable. The more space around the focus of your image you have, the better chance it won't be cut off on other screens. Finally, try to avoid using images with text, but if it's required, keep the text centered, and again, make sure there's a lot of space around it within the image itself. You can always consider using the text or logo options in the design editor to layer your logo over the image itself. And that's it for today guys, so thanks for watching, and we hope you're enjoying your website powered by Banzoogle.